Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says, whatsoever we ask in the name of Jesus, he will give it to us. The book of Matthew 7, 7. And when you go to Genesis, the Bible recorded that he gave dominion to us. He gave us dominion over everything, you know, over everything. I don't know who this person is. You see this generational wealth that you are thinking about. How can it be possible? God is saying that you will have it. You will have it because he has given you the dominion over everything. He gave us dominion over the money that people are worshipping. So that is why most of us, we don't worship money because we know money are supposed to answer us to us when we ask. When we look for money, support, not we becoming a slave to money. So because God is saying, you might be asking, how will I ever have this generational wealth? This is about a wealth specifically, a wealth where somebody just wants a different life. You want a different life, not just for you, for your family, for your lineage. But you don't know how it's going to be possible. When you hear, it's not that you don't believe. But because of the circumstances, you are kind of, how will this thing be? How will this thing be? You know, when Mary, when the angel confronted Mary, Mary did not doubt. But Mary was like, how will this thing be? Knowing that I know no man, how will I be? Why will I not conceive? How will I give birth to a child? And I, I have not met a man. Can you understand? So, know that when you hear that God is going to give you generational wealth, you don't believe. But as a human, you think about it. I believe. But how is it going to be? You know? But with God, it's going to be because the Bible says in the book of Matthew, it says, Ask and you shall receive. Knock, the door shall be open. He says, seek and ye shall find. For everyone that ask, receive it. For everyone that seek, find. For everyone that knock, the door is open. Hallelujah. And in Genesis, the Bible says, he said, let us make man in our own image and likeness. After, after, let us make man after our own image and likeness. You understand? He said, let them have dominion over the fish, the gold, the silver, the this, the that, that the world is killing themselves over. Because the reason why people are killing themselves for wet, it is because they worship the wet. Wet was supposed to answer to people, not people worshipping it. They make wet, they make money as their God. So they idolize money. Because anything that somebody value more than God, it become an idol. It become an idol. You know, we, we, when we were growing up, we thought that when people are talking about idol, it's just all this shrine that you know our forefather would do, they would do all this uh, shrine something, they would have an idol, they would you know. We thought that those were the only idol, but as we begin to grow in the Lord, we now understand that somebody can even make clothes is an idol because he valued the clothes more than God. He valued the clothes, he gave attention to these things more than God. So whatsoever that take our attention away from God become an idol. So these are the things sometimes we pray to break free from. You understand? So the Lord is saying that it is possible because the will of God is not the will of man. The will of God is very, very different. And the Lord said it is possible because he gave us dominion over everything. He said it is possible because he said when we ask, we will receive. So when you ask in good faith, you are not asking to cause problem with that word. God said it is possible. Hallelujah. So the chosen children of God, they will have that generational word. Yes. They will have that generational word. It might tarry, but it will come to pass. I pray that whatsoever you ask the Lord, if you give him glory, you receive it in the name of Jesus. 
it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ i remember your sister evangelist said about the grace of god i will see you again bye bye